All right, so a little later than I meant to uh, get started on this, took a little longer getting set up than I intended. And also I'm not 100% set up the way I wanted, but um, I wanted to do this live just because I think it's fun to do uh, unboxings in particular live, um, because it's kind of in the, in the spirit of what an unboxing is about, right? Get to share in the excitement and um, kind of the joy of opening up a new knife. And uh, I am excited to open this one up. It is um, from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, as you can see. I'm gonna open it with this um, Brad Jansen knife that uh, the maker, Brad Jansen, recently um, was kind enough to give to me. And I have a video on that uh, made and coming up soon. Um, but this is from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. There's some other stuff in this, uh, but the main thing here is going to be the 2021 case vault knife, which is the Copperhead. Uh, so I, for the past couple years, have been getting the case vault knives and decided to this year um, plan to do an article on it as I have in the last two years. Um, I actually was happy to see the Copperhead. I, I, the Copperhead is a pattern I like. Um, I have a copperhead from Queen. Um, GEC hasn't really done a copperhead, um, but uh, I have one from Queen that I really like, and uh, so I'm excited to see it, but um, I will do a full video where I show that, that Queen to compare also. Um, this is a big package here. Let's see if I can open it without, let's get rid of this too. Um, I don't know what all was on that, uh, kind of packing list that you might have seen some of, but anyway, uh, one of the first items here is I did order a can opener for in, um, one of my EDC things. So kind of a funny story on that. I like to have a can opener because I eat like these three bean things that come from Aldi pretty <laughs> relatively frequently and it's just good to have a can opener. Um, and, uh, I had... I told a, a student friend at, at the gym I work at over and over again that I was going to, um, I don't remember what this is, but that I was going to bring in knives uh, that they could buy one to give to, um, to a, a kid that they, you know, teach Muay Thai, which is what they train at our gym. Uh, they, they help train him in Muay Thai, I guess, or something. And I kept forgetting. And so the, the day he was actually going to see that that kid, I just gave him uh, the SOG Power Pint that I had in my bag to give to, to the kid. So I didn't have a can opener in my EDC anymore. But so we've got a couple things here. Uh, these are a gift for my wife. She really likes these Victorinox pairing knives. Um, you know, we have other kitchen knives that you know, maybe you're a fancier or more expensive. These are only like five dollars each or something. Um, but she prefers these. She particularly prefers the serrated ones. Uh, so I wanted to get one of the um, sheep foot to see how she liked that blade shape. And then this is the longer one, the four inch one. I also was considering having my uh, friend um, Tom, who does uh, Dark Star gear sheaths and holsters to make uh, a sheath for, for one of these. Um, I think it'd be a cool knife to carry horizontally, but you know, I don't know how much you want to see these. Everybody's probably seen these, but real, real thin, you know, work really well as kitchen knives and honestly good utility knives also. Uh, free pocket sharpener. Um, these are good gifts. A lot of people like using these um, X style uh, pocket sharpeners. Uh, my dad uses them a lot and so it comes free. And this one is something that I was looking forward to. It was really inexpensive. It was like six dollars or something, six dollars and fifty cents. But it's a knife display easel. Um, and I'm going to take the box out of the way here and just put the actual items. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, but here is this knife display easel and uh, it's bigger than I was expecting, which is actually good. I'm glad that it's bigger than I was expecting. Um, but you set it, you set it like that and you can put, you know, knives on there. A little bit of, uh, 
you know, for six bucks, I guess you can't really complain. But um, yeah, one, two, three, four knives you can fit on there. So that's a cool one. I, uh, I, you know, I was just thinking, I was just talking with my wife last night. I'm kind of in one of those places where it feels ridiculous how many knives I have, especially that I don't use them. Um, so, oh, this is the one I'm excited about. I remembered what this is. Uh, and the case we'll get to last, but um, it feels ridiculous having knives that just sit in their tubes, you know, um, and don't get used, don't even really get looked at that often, and it just feels completely ridiculous to me. Uh, I have never gotten over, I've never become a true collector in that I feel comfortable with that. Um, and so she said, well, why don't you get more displays? And I had actually already ordered that display, um, but that's true, if you're displaying them, at least they're being displayed. Um, but this is one that I was looking forward to. I'm surprised that it has the uh, RI spelling instead of the RY spelling because this is a newer knife from Rough Rider, the Rough Rider 1817. And this is a modern slip joint from Rough Rider. So people have been asking me to do uh, videos on modern slip joints and uh, I just don't really like want to spend the money that a lot of them are. Um, you know, a lot of them are relatively expensive, more expensive than GECs, and, you know, not as, you know, easy to resell if you don't end up liking it. But this one was like $8, so that's a pretty, you know, easy pill to swallow. Um, 448 steel. Oh, it is openable with one hand. That was in the video that Smoky Mountain Knife Works did, Andy from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. He does open it with one hand, and I was really hoping that I could get it open with one hand, and as you can see, very much you can. This is nice. I can't believe like Rough Rider, you know, they're 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 not the fanciest knives for sure, but man, they they make it hard to spend, you know, 150 200 dollars on a uh modern, you know, slip joint knife. Um I considered getting the Civivi Fracture uh that to compare to this, but man, it does have a half stop. I don't think it needs the half stop. I think it would probably be better without it, but Oh, and it has a blade stop pin in there. Wow. I just like, Rough Rider is, you know, people, I think sometimes people get irritated that I do so many videos on Rough Rider, but they're killing it. I mean, wow. I don't know. I, I think that, look at that. Easy to open with one hand, even with that half stop, which again, I think is unnecessary. Nice action. Man, grab one of those if you want a modern slip joint, I'll tell you what. And now we can get to probably what most people are interested in here, the case. I don't buy a lot of case knives because I just haven't had a whole lot of really great experiences recently. But this is the uh, Copperhead in Yellow Synthetic Smooth. Uh, it's kind of a weird way to write that. But anyway, it's in CV. Another thing, I'm, I'm not huge on cases steel, either CV or their stainless steel. I mean, they're okay, but... They're not my preference. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at it. So uh, the funny thing is, I, I can't remember exactly, but I think my grandpa has one of these. And it, you know, obviously is, is older because they haven't made them in a while. But so first impression, it's a little bigger than I recall, which is not a bad thing. I like a good size knife. Second impression, uh, the blades are well centered enough. Um, neither seem to be rubbing, which sometimes case knives do, and they don't just move back and forth, which is another thing I've had case knives do. Um, I bought one of the case Barlow's, the 2019 vault knife, and the blade just like, just moved back and forth. Um, did someone just say that the, it's gross that it's at 720p? <laughs> um, wow. Uh, sorry. Stop watching. Um... I, uh, I didn't even realize I had it set to that. I usually have my videos in HD or 4K, but the live maybe isn't in, in that. So yeah, if you don't like the 720, it's okay. You can stop watching. Um, let's look at the covers. They seem fit well enough. Um, no cracks in the pins. Um, no big gaps either. Wow, I might have gotten a good one here. Let's see how... Oh, the action's nice too. No blade play on that main blade. That was a little concerning, that, that kind of like... 
um, line, but I think it was just grease. Not super snappy closed, but that might get better. And I'll tell you what, I've had blade wrap on the last three or so cases I've gotten, and I'd rather it have a slow close than blade wrap, I'll tell you that for 100% sure. Um, and I don't think I feel or see any blade wrap. Oh, nice on that too. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they knew it was going to me. I, I'm not sure, but, um, honestly, I, you know, I didn't make any notes in the, in the, um, uh, order or anything. The last time I mentioned that I did that, people acted like it was like, oh, my reviews don't count anymore because I said that I was going to make a video on the knife. You know, I don't think that's the truth, but, um, I didn't make any notes, so I don't think that they knew I was doing videos on it. But this uh, spring sits high at full open, but you know, the recent run of 15s from GEC does that too. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Tell every everybody who buys knives, tell the distributors that, that you're me. Um, that way they think I'm buying a whole lot of knives and they will give me deals. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this, this spring isn't really high at, at full open but they both have half stops. And here's another really big thing that, that I'm really happy with on this knife. This is gonna go right in my pocket, I'll tell you what. Um, neither of these blades are anywhere close to, <laughs> um, any. that's that's funny, the Marshallist. Um, neither of these blades are anywhere close to having proud tips, like not even close. So really happy with that. I gotta tell you, I'm happy with this knife. Um, I'm looking forward to carrying this one. It's going to go right in my pocket. I'm going to put it right to use. Now, as always, um, the uh, shield on case knives are not pinned, which is a bummer. I haven't had one fall out on a case knife yet, although I have um, some not older knives that the, are miss, missing the shields, uh, but not from a recent case knife. Um, but yeah, I am happy with this. Oh, maybe there is a, there is a slight gap right here. I just missed that. Um, so yeah, there is a gap here. But to be honest, that's kind of the only issue, which is a big surprise to me. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but the more I look at this, the more happy I am with it, even even with that gap. Um, <laughs> knife thinking. It doesn't have quite the same ring as Knife Thoughts, I don't think, Formation IT there. But uh but that's, that's a, we can have, um, imposter knife thoughts, but, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about this one. I'm excited about it. I think I'm going to put this and where's the rough rider and this right in my pocket today. I'll tell you what rough rider, uh, they're killing it. Um, that is also impressive. Um, so yeah, happy with this order from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I know this is kind of impromptu, so I appreciate the uh, 10 or 11 of you um, who have been watching. And Dave A, I was just giving you trouble about the 720 thing. I don't care. I I'm sure it doesn't look great in 720 compared to the you know HD or 4K or whatever I normally do in. So no worries on that, Dave A. Um, but thank, thank you to those of you who watched, because like I said, I know it was kind of impromptu. Um, and, uh, I am, I am happy, uh, that, that I got these. I'm happy with this order and I'm looking forward to using the display. So thanks for watching. Look out for full reviews. I'm definitely going to be doing an article and full review video on this knife after some use, as well as on this knife. Uh, after I put it in some use. I'm interested to see uh, if opening it one-handed, which I do kind of have to push into it, um, ends up loosening the pivot or not, uh, but we'll see. So thanks for watching, and uh, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.